Greetings, friends of the Vault, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault, Episode 24, Vault 6. All right, with all this bison, I am going to forbid the simple meals for a bit. I don't think that we'll be needing them for quite some time. The uh, entryway fire bar uh, barricades are back up and running. That's great. And I'm going to get a beat beacon here by demand once the doors are in. War hunting cam. Um, Thomas and Yaroslav come to the aid. And Cam run to friends. The three of you probably can take out a warg, though. Oh, yeah. Bye, warg. Shouldn't have tried to kill me. The snow looks pretty. It looks urinated but if you call it pretty okay if, if you say so oh this steel is obtainable as far as i know this is actually under mountain It gets awfully close to where sappers might be attracted, but I, I, I'll i risk it happily, happily risk it. Oh, uranium. Technically, it's uh, under mountain as well. Some of it at least. But not a lot of it. It's just a bunch of lemon snow cone. Eh, it's not the kind of snow cone I would eat, though. Not without detoxify your stomach. And then, of course, all the leather will be great for clothing making as well. We're finally getting some repairs going. Means all the other construction cues are done. Oh, even more steel. Wow. You're going ham, dude. Whoever's on that, Shane, like, never leave that scanner. You've found three things in, like, three hours. That's insane. That's so fast. Uh, stone cutting probably can halt for now in lieu of uh, hauling. Bye, Sab. Don't come back. If you come back, we'll shoot you dead. We're releasing our prisoners, I guess. We get nothing for it. It's just a nice thing to do. Uh, let me check on the Pollux trees, see if it's... Yeah, it's almost time for that Pollux tree to take more pollution. The other ones uh, need a little bit more time to clean. But chocolate's in. I don't think it's going to grow in time to be able to yield, given that it's in um, infertile soil, or whatever the opposite of fertile soil is, stony soil, I guess, technically. But uh, an attempt will be made to bring chocolate to our community. I am trying. I doubt it works, but I am trying. Some sheep wool. It was very interesting that they started to try to plow through this section here without a valid path to me. It does indicate that if I close the doors in the future and offer no valid path into the base, they will start to make one and not make one that I'm going to appreciate. Because the valid path that they started digging was quite the um, Achilles heel of my, my defensive structures. 
So I'll just have to keep that in mind for the future. The, the pollution does look yuck, like yucky. I mean, it should, right? It's like deadly pollution. It shouldn't look nice. So if it looks awful, it's doing its job of looking appropriate. That is a stocked storeroom. I can't say that my organization here is... You know, why can't we put the parkas here? This I do not understand. This accepts... Is this like a dead person's? No? It's 94%. Oh, because, yeah, I see. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, this will start to look more suit uh, appropriate soon. I didn't pet Yoda? Sorry. I don't have audio alerts. Oh, he's getting pet now, though. He loves it. Wait, why is that over there? Words of love should be over here. It's an item. Oh, it's because it lost HP. Uh, okay, let's fix this. I didn't realize that the 95% thing pasted. I think it's because it was linked. That messed everything up. There was plasteel in the cave with jade? I don't think so. This is silver. This is steel. And this is like marble walls. I think you're looking at walls. Is he cooing? Uh, I can't hear through these is that much. Not unless he coos very loudly. I'm gonna go with yes. I don't have any proof, but I'm just gonna say yes, he was cooing. You want me to give him a treat, too? The pet was the treat. No, I'll give him a treat. Oh, a solar flare. Well, that's just gnarly. And there's a rat in my base. There's actually probably a lot of animals in the base right now, because I have that door open. Let's close that door. I wonder, at least the um, the ground planting, the double strand, won't die during prolonged solar flares. Solar flares really do kill hydroponic crops. As you can see, their HP is dropping. Oh, it was a short solar flare. That's good. The crops will survive. But yeah, that's a, that's a big threat to crops. Okay, we do have the bait beacon up, so now I need to do the flip-flop of all beacons. Uh, so we have this one and this one. They need to go. I don't think I have any other... Oh, um, no, right? I just have those two? Yeah, I don't think I have any others. Plasteel! Oh no! Plasteel where we can't mine it. That's just... That's tragic. Shake my head. Stockroom is uh, uh, slightly more organized. Slightly. I got weapons, clothing, wood, items, stone, textiles, silver, other. 
buildings. Because buildings don't go on shelves anyway. Yurikuing is the best thing ever. I wish it was uh, easier for me to record the audio. I... Kadath with a creativity. I don't think you're a creative dude. Construct six. Uh... Hmm. I will have you attempt a better bed than the good bed that I have. How's that, Kadath? With what little steel I have in the base. I really needed Paul steel. You botched it. You literally, you couldn't even make a bed. You literally just broke it. That's how inspired you were. Craft one, construct six, and he just, he just breaks it. Has anyone bonded with Dante? That is a good question. No. Master Shay, no bonds. Nobody's been cuddling Dante. And Dante's going places Dante don't belong. Just to call him out a little bit. Dante, no one invited you to go through the farm. Alright, so he's no longer inspired. He did make an, uh, a, a better bet. Credit where credit is due. Kadath did manage to get an excellent bet out. Dante is Carlotta's pet, but like I don't think Carlotta... I'll check what her animal handling is. I just randomly gave it to Carlotta. But uh, actually, technically, Carlotta doesn't have the skills for it. So we will give Dante to... Well, I'm not going to revoke a pet. That's just evil. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Da Dante is going to be Shay's responsibility, but Carlotta's pet. Because Shay is the mother of Carlotta. So that makes sense, right? Like, my kid, my little rattling isn't responsible for Yoda. But they were pet uh, he was petting Yoda today. It was adorable. It was very adorable. Actually, maybe not die that first. So one other thing that I said that I wanted to do, uh, and have yet to do it, is I did say that um, once I had a sufficient source of food, I wanted to also make life in this vault a little bit nicer for the adults by planting hops and psychoid, and I hadn't forgotten that. I just, we had the food shortage, and then I did want to die out the floors at least. Uh, what priorities do you guys want me to work on now? So we did make lungs for Kadath, and I've been working on quality of life improvements, making sure that everybody had a comfortable, somewhat impressive bedroom, and large and all that. And then the other quality of life improvements was the sorting that we did, and um, the heat that we added, and uh, the, yeah, the heat, the sorting, I'm trying to think. And now I'm planting... Um, hops and psychoid for for us for enjoyment and also the group hunting because you know we're eating fine meals now even that i could count as a home life improvement so back to that pole there Updating the zones. And I'll give you two and a half minutes to vote on that. So a little bit of plasteel there that we can't mine. The steel we can get. This uranium we could get because it's technically under some mountain. Would I consider buying eggling animals? You know, I would. Um, 
I would actually consider buying egg-laying animals if we were given the opportunity to. You know, if I called in like a exotic or bulk goods trader or something like that, or if an orbital trader sold it to us. Absolutely. I think we we have a renewable source, a reliable source of rifes enough that I'd be comfortable doing that. The steel that we have directly in the base is pretty bad, so I'm, I'm really hoping that um, my guys... Yeah, okay, I'm watching them haul it, so I guess my wish is being fulfilled. Because once I have more steel in storage, I would be comfortable setting up the spike traps for an alternative way to fight enemies that are incoming. And then also possibly um, uh, getting more, more mortar shells and things like that. So that we can automate our defenses. And then all this power cabling is so that we have redundancy. So it's not just one cable snipped and we're like in the dark. How's my chem? Oh yeah, let's get chem fueling again. I think I am going to chem fuel with the toxic potatoes first. Rather than the rice, you know, makes sense. Uh, checking on the Pollux trees. Hmm, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I'm in no rush. Devil Strand's about uh, a little over half done, 60%-ish. It's not bad, not bad at all. It's taking a while. And it looks like quality of life improvements paired with colony gear. Okay, I'm on it. I am on it. Beery, thank you for the bits, by the way. Cheers. Last sip of coffee. Thinking of you, buddy. So additional gear. Uh, I am going to get Detoxifier Lungs first. Because once I have the lungs, I'll be comfortable building the armor. And then I'm going to ask you guys uh, what your priority is, whether it's uh, helmets or uh, chest pieces. Because if it's armor, I don't need the lungs necessarily because I can still wear gas masks, but if it's the helmets, I need the lungs. I don't really care which one it is. I just, if you have a preference, you know, share it. With that said, the gas masks alone don't fully protect from toxic environment. It's only 80%. So one gas mask plus a lung is beyond 100%, obviously. Um, what are the health benefits of the... So the health benefits of the lungs is now that Kadath is actually running faster than 100%. So another added benefit is two lungs means that you can outrun, on average, the average person. So Kadath, not having, like, a slow trait, uh, can run at greater than 4.6. So he'll, he moves 0.09 faster than the per average person, which means uh, if someone tries to chase him to kill him, they can't catch him, as long as all other things are equal. So it's a, it's a tiny sliver of an advantage, but not an insignificant one. Uh, with that said, in the details here, uh, I do have, um, no, never mind. I'm thinking of a different series. What series did I have that had no unnecessary, uh, surgeries? I don't even remember. Meh. I don't know. The Mass Effect one? Yeah, that's what it was. Thanks for the memory. So I guess with that said, I, I there's no rule against me bionic legging everyone if I wanted to. I 
I think the organization looks real nice. You know what? I take back what I said. I thought that the organization wasn't needed, but I was uh, I, I was obviously wrong. It is way easier to look at this stockpile the way it is now than the way it was before. The other thing I could do is um, specific shelf for metals. So I'm going to put steel, plasteel. These shelves are critical, so I can have it be important. Steel, plasteel, and uranium on these shelves. And it looks like we're going to do armor first. Uh, with that said, I am going to finish this lung that I'm making, but then I'll pivot to armor. We're training Dante to attack? Okay. I'm alright with that. Izzy Jono, thank you for the resub, man. And Shadow Fox for the follow. I almost never ask people to follow me, but if you do want to, not that I'm asking you to, uh, I will make greater efforts to have surprise streams and stream more games and a greater variety of games. I have some that I'm considering already. For you, it's the multiple items thing? Yeah, true. Uh, trying to sort through multiple items, especially of different types. Uh, I would say, like, there are certain items, like blocks, that visually their icon takes up a lot of space. As you can see, blocks are larger, and same with raw resources. So trying to find... Items that are stocked with wood, blocks, and raw resources, I th think is more challenging. All right, so on this shelf, I am gonna put, this will be normal, and this will be food and drugs. On these two, on three. Actually, on this one, I will put, uh... yeah, no, it's fine. Ooh, Kadath with a go frenzy. Nice. Zoom, zoom. Okay, that floor got died. I think... I, I actually have a question. Uh, what color should the furniture be? I have an idea of what you're going to vote on, but I, I figured I'd ask. Why not? Hey, Flicker. Thank you for the resub. Love the vanilla no DLC music pack. I don't know what you mean. Red would be awesome. I'm trying to mimic uh, Fallout, though. Fallout really didn't sport reds in vaults, or at least not the peaceful ones. Man, this mining tunnel's not getting a lot of love. All right, I think we're out of toxic potatoes. So I'll also include rice in the camp fueling now. I'll have to keep a close eye on my rice quantity because it's very possible that I kind of run out Hey, Loaf of Bricks. I'm glad you, you're catching a stream. Welcome. Pleasure to have you here. I think for beauty's sake, I'm going to widen this path. Aesthetics is a lot to these vaulters for for very good reason when you live underground your underground better look beautiful Because if it don't look beautiful, it's gonna drive you insane So I am putting a lot of effort into the aesthetics of uh, 
of the vault here for our sanity. And it looks like we're going to do white and silver to mimic uh, steel. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I am going to paint white and gray and then cream. And I'll have you vote between these three silvers. So this is uh, this here is what is called what color is this? Why is it not telling me color? Oh, okay. Well, I'm bad at this. This is marble. This is light gray, and this is cream. What shade of silver? Marble, cream, or light gray? I guess I don't have a white yet. So let me let me put a white down too. Cream. So this is white. Someone to uh, Technoir. Let's get that colored. Oh, and Nella just became a child. So that's white. Um, okay. I I don't know if I can even tell the difference between the four, but uh, there you go. There's the pole. So again, marble is the darkest one. Um, this here is light gray. This is white. They look pretty much the same to me. And then cream is definitely yellowy, more yellowy. And Nella, as a child, will remain a colonist. And then you will be put on this bed. So you are the last baby of the group. I don't really need so many on childcare anymore. I'm going to take Mayhem off of childcare because Mayhem should not be teaching the children that are only slightly younger because that seems weird to me. I also might need a second um, comms console. So I'm going to put another comms console in here. Uh, children use comms consoles for learning. Well, no, uh, we'll, we'll see. But they learn, they use comms consoles for learning, so sometimes you actually need multiples of them. Or they can't fulfill. It, it, I guess it depends on how many children that you have. But it's possible that uh, multiples are required. Bug infestations are not turned off, no. We've actually had a few. They're just not particularly dangerous because we're really good at smushing bugs. Well, the chocolate's 7% uh, grown so far. I would not hold your breath. I don't think we're going to be enjoying any um, vault-grown chocolate anytime soon. Guess I need to have the roof overlay to make sure that I'm not digging in any. No, there's no light. Okay, cool. This lamp does not have a purpose anymore. I'll just put it here. Not that anyone will ever need that area lit. And more steel, and it's way out in the open. Not helpful. Alright, so it looks like uh, light gray it is. Marble, light gray. I think this one's already light gray. Yep. We're going to start light graying up everything. Even the jade.
We'll see how that looks. Oh, I found some steel. I don't remember seeing an alert that steel was discovered, but okay. And then eventually I'm going to nest the cables in the walls once they're smoothed out. And let's go and get some more tiles down to complete the look. I love just accidentally bumping into steel. No complaints for me. Do you have clothing? Yeah, good. Clothing is satisfied. Yeah, this is uh, pretty nicely organized. I think the flake is on the wrong shelf. Oh, it's probably an HP thing. It's probably damaged flake. Yeah, it was. This is the yellow brick road vault. Well, <clears throat> in Fallout vaults, it was a very heavy use of yellows and blues and silvers. Silvers to mimic to, you know, because things looked sort of retro futuristic steel. So I'm just going with that uh, that theme here as best as I can. I think I've nailed it. I think you've nailed it. You, you were the ones that voted and picked. So I'm going to continue this. I really like the silvery look. So I'm going to apply it to everything in the crafting room and the storage room next. Yeah, that really does. I mean, if it was cleaner, it's pretty dirty right now. If it was cleaner, it really does look good. How's my learning? So highest 90%. That's pretty good. Mayhem 95, even better. Nella 79, but you just aged up, so I shouldn't judge. And then uh, Carlotta 89. That could be a little bit better. So you want sky dreaming and floor drying. Floor drying is easy for you to do. Sky dreaming, you have access to the outside, technically. And then Nella, I need to set your zone up correctly. There, done. Uh, Destroyer, you're the only one that, that without a gas mask. I think you're about to inherit a gas mask from someone. So um, the next thing, what to prioritize for gear, armor, or weapons? Because that's the last thing I wanted to ask. I do have a lung, and then I have to decide on who gets the lung next. Yeah, that looks real good. Uh, look, it's going to be actually hard to identify the, um, the construction tables because I'm not used to them not being the color that they are normally. But I'll make do. What is that? Oh, it's because it's an acidic smog. Yeah, because outside sucks. So she's sky dreaming out here in the acidic smog. I wouldn't, but she's allowed to. This pathway, uh, we're about, uh, I would say, almost halfway to the deep mining spot. A bulk goods trader. All right, tech. Let's see. And a psychic soothe. Okay, Randy's being nice. What's going to happen? I'm a little worried. Uh, there are no egg layers. I know I said that I would consider adding an egg layer. I'm going to sell my flake cuz and smoke leaf and go juice. I'm even going to sell the go juice because my uh, chemically fascinated um, child in the community is has a real high risk of um, death from go juice. You know, go juice can can kill you. I'm going to buy the plasteel cuz I don't have a re uh, easy source of plasteel. I'm going to sell my lungs or cadaths lungs for that matter. 
sell some of the ruined clothing. We're making a tidy little profit here. Sculpture. Golds, not as low as Plasteel. So Plasteel is more important. Uh, gold I will bring up to 75. So I'll buy 14 of it. We're pretty good on food. Buy more bison for meat. Yeah, I will. Yeah, why not? And yaks. I'll just... Why not splurge, right? Alright, this looks pretty good. This trade. And it looks like you guys want me to prior prioritize armor. Copy that. Uh, animals. Let's uh, hit you here. Someone has animal... Yeah, we have good high-priority animal handlers. I could paint something into the... into the... kill box entryway as, like, a vault number. But I already know what vault number we are. I just don't know how to make the number in pixel art. Because I'm a I'm a I'm a atrocious pixel artist. I should just look at a digital clock and see how the digital clock does it. Shouldn't I? There. It's supposed to be a six. We started off as six. Only makes sense to me. Almost nice. Does the digital six have like that hook there? I, I don't even know. I don't know. Uh, who gets armor next? So Technoir, Sapo, Shield, Shay, or Cam. I'm going to have you vote on one of the original five that don't have it yet. Some relaxed Yoda. Oh, I kind of roused him. Who's the best tank? So Kadath already has it. He would be the best tank. Uh, in terms of next best tank, it's not all that clear, honestly. No one else is tough. Uh, Shield is a bloodlust jogger, so he's probably our best. He's also our best shooter, and he's also nimble. So he probably would benefit from it the most. Um, but then Thomas actually is tough. I don't really feel good about putting a 14 year old as a frontliner in this series like if we were in the wendigos i'd say screw it but we're not right so i don't really want to have a 14 year old on the front lines you know kadath at 31 makes way more sense as a frontliner uh and then this is also kind of a poll of who gets that lung too so giving that lung to shield might make sense because he's already a jogger so he'd be real fast jogger if he gets the lung but i don't know it's it's up to you guys if I knew, I wouldn't pull. Well, okay. I pull a lot anyway, but... Yep. Have you guys vote on that. It looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. is, uh, is gonna win. Ooh, this vault's getting dirty. 
I can now start to understand how in the Fallout vaults they were filthy and nasty. I get it now. Because if you're not constantly cleaning, oh boy, is it getting nasty. Especially you animals. But my kitchen's looking pretty gross too. Uh, who is my constructor? That would be Thomas or Cam. So, uh, Techno, I'm going to have you work drive Cam once Cam's up. Okay, shield. You're going to live up to your name. Shield will be the shield. So you guys wanted to prioritize armor first, so I'm going to do another lung, and then eventually locust armor and marine helmet. Mechanator just for the Roomba bot? Um, I already have two other series that I'm doing mechanators. I didn't want a third. So although there's not a specific reason, there's not a specific rule not to have mechanators, uh, I don't plan on adding them f for preference reasons. I, ho I hope that makes sense. Just because I, I feel like I've, I'm doing them elsewhere. <gasps> that steel is real easy to get to. Damn. Damn, Shane. That's super convenient. So I don't think we're going to need steel for a while. Because we have um, probably about 15,000 steel available to us in these two locations. That's what kids for? Yeah, the, the kids clean. Exactly. Yeah, we need rumors. It's just that I have so many uh, work projects going on right now that, um, that, you know, things are getting dropped. Okay, if that just blew, let's turn on the chem gens so that the batteries can bounce back. Oh, I like it. I like how shiny it is. The colored uh, workbenches and the like definitely scream like retro futuristic to me, which is entirely appropriate as it should. Once I start to get a, uh, a surplus of dyes, now that all of the children can dye their own clothing, I will also get them um, looking correct. Shouldn't the number be painted yellow? I don't know, it's the kill box. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. What color for the number? There. Everything voted on in this vault here. This is a very democratic vault we have. No tyrants in here. Just a happy utopia full of healthy children and dreams, hopes, maybe a corpse or two. We don't speak about the corpses. No, sir. Oh, I even hit compacted machinery right where the steel spot is. Well, that's convenient. And the detox lung is done. So next up, we'll do the armor first because you prioritize the armor over the helmet. And shield, when you fall asleep, I'm gonna stick two detox lungs in you. Oh God, is that gross. Hey, uh, Mayhem. I have a task for you. One of the reasons not to buy animals is, um, exhibit A. Dear Lord, is it gross. Just guts everywhere. You know what? It is spring, right? Let's do a little bit of spring cleaning. 
Because God is gross everywhere. What happened? Oh no, it's just it's just butchered animals. It's no one died. It's uh that I bought a bice bison and yak and uh I went biblical on them. I went Leviticus on them. Bible joke. Zing! Don't get a lot of those on this channel, so you're welcome. There won't be a numbers of Bible jokes. <laughs> Didn't work. I don't know. How am I supposed to work Deuteronomy or Genesis in? Well, Genesis I can. Into this series. Especially given that Fallout had the Genesis device. But, you know. It's not like I can make Deuteronomy or numbers jokes all that often. Alright, yellow! Got it. Yellow... Three wide tunnels to fight infestations. Yeah, I'm not too worried about infestations. They've been pretty tame. We have uh, decent weapons for our youngins. In fact, hey, youngin, here's an SMG. Make sure the pointy end goes towards the enemies. Also, I believe that you're... Okay, you were learning. I just canceled class so that you could clean. That makes me a bad father. Uh, Shield, you were sleeping and, like, I totally didn't do the installation. I'll do it tomorrow night. So that you don't miss out on work. No sick days for you, friend. When does a joke become a dad joke? Uh, I should know this. Blood, no, I'm not, no sanguifages. Thank you, but bye-bye. All right, the vault looks a little bit cleaner. When it becomes apparent, <laughs> like it. Apparently, I didn't know the answer to that. And then I feel ashamed as a result. There's one tile of steel left to mine, yes. And it's queued up, they just aren't doing it because of cleanup time. Uh, the... Zone for stone cutting, I'm going to reduce down to like 25. 25 will include this. Oh, wait, where'd the zone go? It got deleted? Uh, okay. There used to be a dumping stockpile here. Uh, chunks. And somehow it got deleted. I don't know when that happened, but I'll put it back. I must have misclicked it or something. I don't know. Well, my steel went from like 75 to 2000 very quickly. We're sitting pretty for steel now. This is on its own grid, though, so I didn't mean to chop up the cables just yet. Because now I don't have solar running in the base. The base is, well, the base is running on a lot of chem fuel because I accidentally left that on. Did I leave the stove on? Oops. Come on, build it. There's our six. It's a little messy, given that the turrets are there and whatever, but... If I hide the zones, maybe it'll look a little bit nicer. I'm not going to move the turrets out of the way, though, because, you know, defense comes first over aesthetics. As much as I like aesthetics, I'm not going to neglect uh, defense in lieu of it. Okay, so we're back on solar power. How do we have a cable built? Wait, how is this even... How is this cable built, guys? How do we put that there? 
This cable is underneath raw sandstone. How did it... Oh, no, it was in a... It was never been... Ah, oh, my brain. I don't know how we ever put it there. Rimworld magic. Yep, going with Rimworld magic. That is a, uh, a totally suitable answer for me. A glitch in the matrix, yeah. What, whatever it was, uh, it's, it's neat that we did that however it happened. <laughs> it like, it hurts my brain, cause like, this is not possible. It's simply not possible, but uh, you know, it's, it's fine. Death mode, yeah. I didn't death mode it there, to, to be fair. I didn't cheat, it just, it just happened. Are the power out again? Are we browning? No, we're not browned. Why is this not turning on? Isn't that a live wire? <gasps> it's not a live wire, because it doesn't connect here. Because uh, I am Captain Idiot of the Idiot Clan. I went to all that time away uh, building temporary cables and it's still not plugged in anything. We're still running with no solar. Confirmed I use death mode. <laughs> Did anyone see me do it though? Cause you know, if you ain't got no proof, the glove don't fit. You must have quit. Any of you lawyers that could defend me here? That I didn't cheat and put in one extra cable? Use death mode to clear your memories? All right, I will do that. Uh, look at the cute little puppy. Yep. No cheating here, just cute puppies. That's it. No other explanation, just puppies. Rice is definitely getting whittled down between making it into chem fuel and um, growing the psychoid. I'll have to, I'll have to address that soon. We're almost done with this tunnel, though. And then once I have the dyes, I only have 11. But once I have a little bit more dyes, uh, we can dye the rest of the tunnel the, the correct color. All right. We should start to see idle colonists, I think. Because I've got, uh, like, a lot of work done. All right, all the cables are now embedded in the walls, and we're actually connected. So that's good. Puppy treats, sure thing. And hydrate? My pleasure. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow vaulters. 